is a pleasant day and I welcome you to the sports update here on Alena Klena TV with me, Sandra Asante. I'll be bringing you all the sports updates you need to know. But before I start the action, I'll take a quick commercial break. Mind you, your favorite sports celebrity might be in mind. So stay tuned. I'll be back with more. <music> Thank you so much for staying with me. To our first soccer story, Zlatan scored another acrobatic late win goal. So Ibrahimovic, who now has 17 goals in 22 Serie A games in his second spell with AC Milan, created the first goal. Zlatan snatched the win when he acrobatically beat Udinese defender Rodrigo Beccaro and Sebastian De Maio to beat goalkeeper Juan Musso with a close range overhead kick. We are back to our second soccer story. Party ends impressively in Manchester United historic win. The Ghanaian player Thomas J. Party put a splendid performance to help Arsenal beat Manchester United at Old Trafford for the first time in 14 years. Per statistics, he was the most acute passer with 93% of 100 to play 45 minutes from 55 accurate passes. Manchester's midfielder Paul Pogba kicked Hector Bellerin foot in the penalty area for a penalty, enabling Pierre Emerick Aubameyang scoring the only goal for the game from the penalty spot. Aubameyang set goalkeeper David De Gea Quintana the wrong way with his 69th minute sport kick to give Arsenal the lead. We now take our turn to tennis and the Russian Andrei Rublev booked his individual place in the finals for the first time as he continued his impressive run of form with a straight set victory over Lorenzo Senego to win the Vienna Open single titles. The world number eight saw off the challenge of the Italian Senego who had beaten Novak Djokovic earlier in the tournament with 6-4, 6-4 victory in one hour, 20 minutes. We now go for the boxing news. So Alexander Usyk delivered a stylish and measured display to pick apart Derek Chisora in a point win that underlined his credentials at heavyweight. The former unified world cruiserweight champion moved with a grace and picked punches beautifully to frustrate his British rival over 12 rounds. An attack in 17th set, Yusora staggering to the ropes as Yusaik found ways to land while on the move. Let's go for the bout. I'll be back. Left hand and a right. Accuracy again from Usyk and applause from the blue corner. Let's get around the clock to see how he's seeing things. Well, through eight rounds, I've got it 6-2 to Alexander Usyk. I thought Chisora made a really good start in the fight. I thought that opening round was his round. I thought in the second round, Usyk was winning it after two minutes and 20 seconds. But then Chisora got to work, landed some good shots and took that second round. I've given Usyk everything since. The fifth, I thought, was a very tight round that could have gone the other way, which would level my scorecard up a little bit to 5-3 rather than 6-2. But since we've got to the halfway point, Usyk, as he generally tends to, it's just ramping things up, he's turning that screw bit by bit, and he's beginning to take over. Yeah, this is really good work from Oleksandr Usyk. And he's right at this stage of the fight, when he's got your measure, it gets harder and harder, and Derek Chisora has put everything into this. He has had some success. How many rounds he's got is debatable, the three judges. We'll know about that at the end, should it go 12. Fascinating though to see if uh, Alexander Usyk will try and up the tempo and attempt to make a real statement by taking Derek Chisora out, this tough, hardened heavyweight of 18 stone plus. Stop Chaz Witherspoon, but that was a different level. Chisora, a much harder nut to crack and he has at least had his say in this. Derek Chisora could be very proud already of the effort he's given. Yeah, he's taken a lot of clean shots, flush, bang on the chin, and just bounced off it. But again, they do take effect, even though he took them. They are, they will. They are taking it out of him. Can't 
keep taking those shots. What about Usyk at this weight, though? Is there any way that Chisora could grind him down in these last... Thank you so much for staying with me. This has been the Sports Update on Alena Klena. My name is Sandra Asante. Thanks for watching.